Albert. Good up. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are, How you? are you? I'm very well. Yeah, Thank you for time. joining. And hello, Lorena. Welcome. Hey. How are you? Well, a little bit stressed because my husband, someone stole him his tel telephone. Telephone. His phone? Oh, no. Yeah, right now in the bus, on the bus. Then we are like, 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 uh, you know. But he is he okay? I mean, uh, he was yeah. stolen. I understand yeah. that uh, the material uh, things can be, yeah. you know, can be recovered. But if he's okay, thankfully, yeah. uh, it didn't happen anything to him. So at least, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. In but when story. you have everything in, in, in your phone, you you feel like uh, your mind is. <laughs> <laughs> even even the, the pictures, right? Yeah. Pictures, yes. all the applications, and yes, I understand yeah. that. Uh, it happened to me. I was in a party, and I didn't realize when someone took it without oh. noticing. Yes, but you know, you need to check on the GPS, and it's very easy sometimes to get it. Right? If you uh, call yeah, the police yeah. by the um, GPS, he can find it. The application okay. is good, so I recommend you to start looking for it with the GPS. All right, and you have and you have to pay for that for the GPS. No, no, no. He just Are... no. He just need to. Uh, he needs to remember his uh, Gmail account. Is that uh -huh. an iPhone or a or a no, an yeah, Android? Yeah. No, an Android. An Android. Yeah. All right. So with that information, he he can access into a different telephone number or a different device and he can start looking for that he can see where um where the cell phone is so if he calls the police probably if it is close maybe you can recover it i hope so okay All thanks right. for the idea mm -hmm. yes. okay excellent guys uh someone told me i don't know if this person is here that they uh couldn't hear um, or they couldn't understand or couldn't uh, listen the audio. And I would like to know if you have any questions regarding to the answers of the uh, section one and two. Or no, is everything okay with this, with the exercises? Yes. Yeah, I already finished. No questions so far? No, no questions, okay. No, for me was okay. Very well. Okay, um, today, if you don't have any questions, I would like to do like a quick review about the, about some tenses. We were studying yesterday some sentences, I mean, some tenses. Let me share my screen and I hope that you can see it. We're going to review the simple present just to remember, right, how to express ourselves in a very proper way. We're going to talk about the simple present, the simple past, also the present continuous, which is very easy, but some of you probably don't remember. So present or past continuous. Uh, present continuous and past continuous, simple past. The other is, let's see what else. Mm, let's see. We have also the present perfect and the past perfect, okay? Yes. Also, we have the, the present perfect but, and the, press, the past perfect continuous, exactly. Those are basically the most difficult ones also. Continuous. The, the B plus going to the future because will is very easy. Okay, and well, thank you for being on time. I understand that Friday is not a regular day because you are on vacations, but we are going to uh, finish today the section one and section two. If you don't have any questions, anyways, we're gonna do some review about the, the tenses, okay? Okay. Good, all right, guys. Anytime when we're talking about simple present, hello, Jonathan Ciro, can you help me with the cameras? Uh, when we're talking about simple present, we have the affirmative form. We have also the negative form. 
the negative form, and also the questions. And um, in all of them, we're going to do a quick review, okay? Now, uh, for simple present, guys, remember, if we're talking in, a, in affirmative form, what is the, um, the structure? It is very easy, right? Uh, for example, we use always at the beginning a subject, which is the one who makes the action in the sentence, right? The subject and the verb, all right? The verb. Obviously, if the verb, of, if we're talking about the third person, remember we always add either an S or an ES or we also change we also change it sometimes with the i e s right right mm, That's not complement. all the time it depends if they finish with the y and then the complement example i like uh movies super easy right i like movies if we're talking about third person what will be the difference then she likes movies Exactly. So he or the third person, he, she, or it, all right? We will add the S, all right? She likes movies. Basically, that's it. Now, if we're talking about negative, what, did you even what is the difference? Uh -huh. We have to use do or don't. Do Very or does. good. Exactly. In that case, we also use, for example, I. You will say do not, and then the base form of the verb, right? The verb will be always in base form. It doesn't change. I do not like, and then the complement. I do not like movies. And if we're talking about he or she, we say she the auxiliary. Exactly. Does not or doesn't, and the verb doesn't change, all right? Now, for questions, ask me a question. Let me see. Mm -mm. Jonathan, are you able to talk today? You haven't introduced yourself to the, all the week. Are you working? <laughs> okay, but at least you're listening. Anyways, uh, what is the, the structure for questions, guys? Angela, Angela, can you help me with a question? Ask me a question in the same structure that we are just studying. Um, the negative? The questions. There, oh, it okay. could be a negative question or a, a regular question. Um. I, um... mm -mm. Let me help you. What is the, uh, the formula to ask questions, guys? Ah, First. okay. The question is... Are you... Um, maybe... Are you? Do you. not confuse... Do you like do you movie? exactly? Um, Don't confuse. Don't confuse the uh, the verb to be, all right? Because okay. for simple presence we use okay. The, the, okay. the auxiliary. So what is the structure? Do you like exactly. uh, do you like um like like or like? Remember final like, sounds. Like like. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Do you like the like? Um, uh, like, like, like if, uh, if you say lie, it's something different, right? It's like, to say something that is not true. Like, yes, uh, okay. like, okay. So we I, use the auxiliary do or does, depending if they're if it's third person, and then the what the is subject. next? The subject. Good job. Okay. The subject plus the 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 verb. Does the verb change in questions and negative? No. No, it is base form all the time. Very well. Um, so do or does subject plus complement. Complement. So ask me the question, Ciro. 
Last question mark. Question mark, correct. Ask me a question for the third person. For example, she doesn't like movies. Ask me in a, ask me the question for the same negative answer. Does she like cookie? Okay, does she like cook? Does she like if we add two verbs, we can separate it with two, right? Does she like to cook? Yeah. Or another word, another way. What is it? Does she like cooking? Cooking, correct. Oh. Remember, guys, we always separate the verbs if it's not with the ing. Two verbs cannot be in uh, um, Where? infinitive. Yes, they have to be separated all the time. All right. Good job. Now, for the simple past, it's almost the same structure. All right. We always use, in this case, the uh, subject for the affirmative form. Plus the verb in the past, right? The verb in past tense plus the complement. Then negative. Now that I have some of you, do you have any questions with the um, with the answers, guys? I I received a message that you couldn't finish one exercise. I don't know if everybody here finished the exercises in the platform. Ronald, do you have questions? Yes, I was trying to complete the, the last part. I guess it was the, the, the exercise number 10, but I would like you to provide any kind of example so I can complete it because I didn't understand how, how to complete it. Okay, we will I work on that, okay? All of we them are wrong. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Ronald. So it's 2.10 okay. or 1.10? It's the last one, I guess. Oh, it so it's, it's 2.10 then, yeah, the section two. Confirming, confirming information, something like that. Okay. No problem. We we will have time. I just need to uh you to remember I, these important things. I'm yes. Sorry, it's knowledge check. The knowledge check. Okay. Thank yes. you. No problem. Very good. Now, guys, what about the negative form for the simple past? Help me, please. What is the negative form? What is the structure? So, for example, what will be the um the example here? For, for um, sorry, we're here in the simple past. The structure for simple past is subject plus verb in past. Yeah, plus that is complement. the structure. So what will be the example? I liked. Very good. Uposas. That is a perfect pronunciation, Angelica. Very good. So I liked to cook. Okay. Uh, simple present. So the structure will be the simple past. Here. Sorry. Past. Structure for affirmative. is the verb, so I liked, right? In that case, we always use the past. Remember, sometimes we probably forget to use the verb in past, so it's very important to do it. Now, I liked movies, and you can add additional information. When I was a kid, right? Now I don't like them. Just to give an example, for negative, what is the structure? It's the same structure like the, uh, like the negative in present, but what is the difference? You use did. You use did, correct. Very good. With the structure, we use do um, for simple present or does. Now, in past, we also use did. That's it. And the verb does not change. 
Okay. Um, did not close the verb. So give me the example, Lisette, in simple past. In negative form. We can use the same example. You can give me a different one. You are muted. She did like. He did like? What is missing? A movie. Mm. He did like a movie. Is that correct, guys? Movies. It's, it's informal, but it's it is valid. Not, actually, it's kind of formal, but we, we use it when we emphasize something. Right? When we emphasize maybe, maybe maybe he didn't like. He didn't like, exactly. We need to add the not. Okay, that is the correct form. He didn't like movies when I was when he was a child. Now for questions, what is the structure? Help me. Kevin, are you there? Yes, teacher. What is the difference? Uh, Tell me the uh, what is the structure? Uh, did correct. He that he so the structure will be this one dead plus subject and then the verb yeah. without changing yeah. yes the verb is always in base form when we're using auxiliaries like do or does or did all right yes yes, yes. So what is the example, uh, Edgardo? Tell me an example using questions. Did she go to the school? Very good. Did she go or like? Did she go to school? And then we say, no, she, what is the answer for this question, guys? Uh, help me, let's see, um, Angelica. No, she didn't. She didn't? Go to the school? What about if we add a WH question? Where did he go? And we omit this. What is the answer? She did go to school. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We say that we use the affirmative form. We use the verb in past. So she went. She went. Very to good. Exactly. We always change it, right? He went to the movies. He went to the university. He went to the college. He went to the church, etc. Excellent. Now for um, that is for simple past. Now for present or past continuous, guys, what is the structure? Subject. Okay. That's being affirmative. We use the subject plus. Plus has or have. Mm -mm. For Present continuous. Ah, uh, been? No. No. She has been. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Help me, Susan. Susan's going to give us a class today. <laughs> the very informal and for continuing. Yes, exactly. But what is the auxiliary in this case? Claudia? Was. 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 So it would be the verb to be, correct? Plus was the verb, was. the ing form. The verb with the ing form. Plus the complement. Okay, so if it's in present continuous, what are the three auxiliaries? Give me an example, Alberto. For present continuous. Right now we're talking about present continuous, but it's the same structure. The present continue, uh, uh -huh. approx for instance, I'm playing a football, right? All right, but what are the auxiliaries? I am is the first one, all right? If we're talking about yeah. the, the, the subject I, so we use am. What is the other, guys? Is. 
H is is and R. And they, they are. are plus. They are. Exactly. Very good. Plus, they are. Uh, can we use like? They are liking movies. No, right? It is not common. We don't use uh for non-action verbs we don't use actually the the ing form so we just say we like all right but we say we are or i am uh learning we are learning english, english. okay i am learning english you're learning english now in question in the negative form what is the only form the only um difference or negative what's the you difference have to, you, you have to add uh, uh, not I does not. not yes be not right be plus not plus ing give me the example um, let me see lisa i didn't hear you at the beginning I am learning. I am not learning. Very good. Well, we are not learning English. French. We are not studying. We are not cooking, etc. All right. Ask me the question, please. Good questions. The verb at the beginning. Always the verb to be, am, is, or are, yes. Are you plus the subject? The dinner? Plus the complement. Verb. Well, very, yeah. Verb with the ing plus the plus complement. complement. Plus complement. Very good. And the question mark. Ask me the question. Uh, uh, um, Angela. The question. Yes, questions in present continuous. As you point. I, um, are you? Uh -huh. Are you uh, pledging? Are you playing? Uh, soccer or basketball? Or soccer. Basketball. Are you playing soccer? Soccer. Are yes. you playing soccer in El Salvador? In the, in the Salvador. Yes. In El Salvador. Okay. Uh, now, use a WH question to ask me, please. Mm, Kevin. Why are you playing soccer in Salvador? Why are you playing soccer in El Salvador? So we only add the WH question before. Very good. Now, questions so far, guys, we studied simple present, simple past, present continuous. Now, past continuous, what is the only difference? That we use was or were. Exactly. We use was and were. Okay. Mm, I have a question. Uh, Claudia, are you there? Yes. Give me an example in past continuous in, a, in an affirmative form. Okay. I was studying when my pet uh, go out. Excellent. Claudia mentioned something very important. When we use the past continuous, it's because we were talking about or we're talking about an action that was ongoing in the past, but sometimes there were two actions happening, all right? So that is why we use the simple, um, the past continuous instead of simple past. When we have two simultaneous actions or when there was an action ongoing and another action stop, right? Stop the other activity or the other action, okay? That is basically the difference. So what is, what is the use of the simple present? 
the action started in the past and is over, finished, all right? It was completed in the past. Excellent. Now for present perfect, tell me, what is the structure? Object. For affirmative form, yes, we also use the subject plus the auxiliaries. Has or have? Have or has. Very good. Remember, we also use has for the third person. Now, the, the rest of the formula or the structure is. Last verb in past participle. The very past participle, very good, verb in past participle. That is why yesterday I was asking you some of the past participles because sometimes we forget them. Also, I would like to explain when to pronounce the ED, all right, for the either regular verbs for the past or the past participle of them. Very good. Now, the uh, negative form, what is it, guys? For the, give me an example. We have, give me an example using present perfect. Um, Susan. You cannot talk. Okay, she's text six years typing right now, I guess. Mm, okay, we don't have too, too, too much time. Give me another example. Uh, Jonathan, if you cannot hear, but you can text me, okay? <laughs> that is real curious. As to unmute? No. As to unmute? No. What was the question? Um, don't worry. I just need um a, an example for the present perfect in affirmative form. Help me, Alberto. Uh, sorry, I was <laughs> I missed that part. All right, I'm here, but <laughs> just letting you all hear the or you heard. Escucho, I know I you hear, you. but you're saying you I, I heard. Escuché, Sorry, right? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> ah, ah, you see, I am here, verdad? I am here. Miren yeah. cuál es la diferencia de solo. I hear yo oigo, verdad? I am here. It's something different. All right. So the present perfect. Can you help me, Ronald? Pay attention. We were talking about present perfect, and this is the structure. Okay. We also use uh, have or has plus the past participle plus a complement. Okay. I have gone to to the store. I have gone to the store how many times? Mm, twice last week. Twice last week. Okay, but if it's last week, you better use the simple past. What is the difference between press simple past and present perfect? Remember, the simple past is an action that uh, started and finished in the past. Uh -huh. So if we say uh, last week, uh, it is better to use the simple past, right? I went to the store twice last week. So uh -huh. for present perfect, it's, it's good, but you can say today, uh, this week, because something that has not finished. So that is the difference, guys. In simple okay. past, the action finished, but for present perfect, the action started, but still continues in the present, okay? Got it? Okay. Okay. Jesus, give me an example using has. Using has plus the past participle. You mean me, right? You say Jesus. Jesus Alberto, sorry. Yes, you're the only one. Sorry, I forget your. I forget to. Um, I forget to name. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, she has been. Uh, I mean, this is, I don't know what it is. She has been working so hard. But that is me. present perfect continuous. 
Ah, then she had been. That is past continuous. Pay attention, pay attention, Albert. Lisette, help me with a negative, with an affirmative form in the third person using has. Hello? Repeat question, please. I'm sorry? Repeat question, please. What was the question, guys? A sentence using the... We need a sentence using uh, the, pa the present continuous in affirmative form, but the third person with she or he. Alberto, you need to give me that example, okay? Everybody, give me a, give me an example, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pay attention, guys. Swan the board today. Repeat. She has swan the board okay. yesterday. No, yesterday is simple past. Remember, guys, when we're talking about present perfect, it's an action that is still continuous. Yesterday is over. It's gone. Today. Today. She has swam in the pool or in the, uh, the restaurant all day, all right? All day. Today. Okay. okay. Uh, negative. Help me, Angelica, for negative, uh, for negative sentence. What is the structure? What is the difference? Not. The difference is not. Okay, now Alberto, give me your example in, in present perfect. Negative. Simple perfect. I mean, simple. Present again, perfect. Please. Present perfect. Okay, in a negative. Okay, she hasn't. She hasn't worked in office. She hasn't worked. Enough. The simple mm -hmm. past, or the, in this case, we need to use the, pa the, the past participle of the verb, all right? Okay? She hasn't worked. We need to use the past participle. She hasn't worked today. Okay. Now, for negative, um, give me another example using the negative form, Lorena. Um. She hasn't driven her car since yesterday. Very good. She has not driven or she hasn't driven her car since yesterday. Nice. Ask me a question, please, um, Kevin. Had, 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 had they? Had bought? is past part, is past, pro, past perfect. In this case, we use only have or has. Hey, had. Have or has. Hey, has. Let's see, what is the structure, guys? First, the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Has or have? Have, has. Uh, have or has, right? Have or has. And then? Subject. The subject, the subject. okay. Plus? The verb plus participle. Good, right. The subject plus the past participle. Ask me the same question, uh, Lorena. If you uh, please ask me the question. The question. Yeah. Has has she uh, driven her car? Right. Has she driven her car today? Today. Uh huh. Ask me another question, uh, Kevin. Uh, question. Had we? I'm sorry, repeat. Had. Had or have? Had. Have. Had. Okay. Had we? Uh, we don't use have for third person. We use has. They, sorry. Have they? they? Bow. Bow. No, say, you don't say sorry, all right? Say sorry, re, re, okay? Sorry, okay? Excellent. Uh, vouch. 
have they smoke but what is that is this a verb uh, yes no. <laughs> all right how no. do you pronounce it guys but 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 all right she hasn't bought or they haven't bought in this case what uh, tomato in the supermarket today they haven't bought tomatoes okay tomatoes today all right have they up uh, have they bought this is a question okay now for past Perfect. What is the only difference? Please help me doing the past progressive. Now, Alberto, what is the structure? It's the same, but we just change what? Sorry, repeat the question, please. The what? <laughs> Pay attention, guys. Uh, help me, Ciro. Yes. What is the structure? For present perfect uh, and primary. Subject. Okay, affirmative is subject plus close, close. Plus, uh, uh, auxiliary. plus the auxiliary, but what is the auxiliary? Uh, the is or are. No. No. We're talking about past perfect, guys. Sorry. It's... Was and where? No, tampoco. No. Uh -huh. Thank uh... you. What is the structure, Alberto? Now you pay attention, right? Yeah, it's a, I mean, this is, I mean, sometimes I'm confused with the present and the past perfect, honestly, because it's sometimes quite confusing because you're referring to something that happened in the past but this is the subject and the auxiliary in the past to have but in the past i had and the uh, correct past part that is the difference had all right plus that uh, plus what it's the same structure yeah. guys it's the same structure you just change have or has instead you use had all right that's the difference uh, yeah okay and the verb, the verb, in past and the verb will be she Him. had, and the very participle. past participle, yes, plus participle plus the complement. All yeah. right, now give me your example, please, Eduardo. Edgardo. I have played the guitar. One more time. I had played the guitar. Okay, I had played the guitar. Played. Yeah, I have played the guitar, but that is just, había tocado la guitarra, but I mean, tell me a complete sentence. Ahí no tiene mucho, mucho sentido, okay? For example, I have played the guitar today for two hours. He to, lo, la, he, la he tocado por dos horas, pero si estamos hablando, yo había tocado la guitarra, what else can you tell me? But now I, I forgot. I have played the guitar, but now I forgot. Give me the structure for negative. Uh, Angelica? The structure is subject plus have plus not plus yes. past participle. Plus past participle, correct. All right. And the example will be Angelica? I hadn't danced since 11 a.m. Okay. I had not danced, danced this morning? Uh, yes. <laughs> but now I have danced all the afternoon. All right, you need to do a contrast between the third, the idea why you say that you have not done something or you have done something and 
um, yeah, you need to have a different complement. I had no dance, okay. but now I have danced all the afternoon. All right. It, it's nice. a it's a contrast, right? Yeah, we need to use a contrast. Mire, mire, no había, for example, guys, there is a very new, nice example that, for example, the Titanic, the Titanic had, Titanic had um, mm, traveled for, I don't know, five days, let's say like that. The Titanic had to travel for five days when, it sank all right so we use basically a past action that was ongoing that was actually yeah that was happening or was recently happened uh recently happened when something else interrupted all right when it sank okay. había navegado or sailed we can say sailed for five days when it sank all right so we can contrast with the past action as well okay this is now ask me a question, Claudia Edith. Ask me a question. Me pueden ocupar con how long? Uh, any other any other WH question? Um, what is the structure first of all, guys? Had before plus the subject, subject. plus the past participle. Verb and the verb, yes, yeah, and complement. The complement. Okay, ask me the question um, 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 zero. You can use the WH question as well, okay, to make it a little bit more complex. No, zero is not there. Ronald, help me with a comp with a question with past perfect. Also, Alberto. Had she gone to the nightclub? Uh huh. Gwen, you know you need to use another action. All right, we normally use past perfect with a to contrast a, another action that happened all right before angelica what is your example uh, my example is where have traveled your father when he was in the marine but i where had traveled your is... father mm. yes where had I don't traveled know. your father Are but i don't sure? know it is correct correct mm. uh, yes no it's not correct he where had traveled his father. Mm. What is the structure? Take a look on the structure. Where had where had you? Where had you traveled? Very good. We need to use the subject. Remember, yes, we need to use where had you traveled? Uh when before you uh went to Germany. Europe. Or Europe, okay? Where had you traveled when or, or before you went to Germany? Okay, now the be going to, we also, uh, in this case, we are going to use all the time the verb to be. Example, auxiliary will be subject plus the, the verb to be all the time, all right? Because sometimes we say I going to or you going to, we always need to use the auxiliary be plus going to. Example. I am going to dance tomorrow. The base form of the verb will be, uh, will be after. I am going to dance. I am going to dance tomorrow, okay? You are going to, she is going to. Now for negative form, what is the structure, Ciro? Now you came back. What 
What is the structure? Edgardo? <clears throat> so J must plus B. Okay, for negative. It's a subject. 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 Sub. Subject. Subject. Mm -mm. Close your mouth. Sub. 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 Sub subject. 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 Exactly. No subject. Yeah. Subject. All right. Subject. What is the difference then? Subject plus B. Plus no. Plus no. not. Very good. Plus going to plus the base form. Okay. All the time the base form. Uh, give me your example, Alberto, please. All right. Uh, example thing. I'm not going to make it tonight. I'm okay. I'm contracted. Not, I am not. Okay. I'm I am not, not going to make it. Going, going to make it gonna, tonight. Yeah, gonna make it. Come on. Uh -huh. I'm not going to make it tonight. Sorry. What are not, What are you going to make? Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, this is something like I'm going to be, uh, for, for instance, if I have an appointment or something, I'm not going to make uh, it with my friend because I, won't not gonna be make the, it. I won't be in the play. Yeah. I'm not going to make it. My friends have actually... um like a concert here close to Suchitoto and I'm not gonna make really? it. I cannot go yeah, because yeah, I have class until 10 p.m. So anyways, very good yeah, guys. Yeah, I know, you know. Okay, good. For simple, uh, no, for questions, what is the, ask me the same question, Ronald, for for the simple future um, uh, questions, please. The structure would be the verb to be before. We Mm -hmm. Will you visit your sister? Uh -uh, going to remember, we're talking about going will. To, ah, okay. B okay, okay. plus subject uh -huh. plus going to plus the base form of the verb. And Are you going mark. to visit your sister this Very weekend? Good. Very good, guys. Are you going to visit your sister this weekend? Very good. Um, since we are running out the time, we are going to answer the um, what exercise besides the 1.10 uh, do you have questions about, guys? I have a question with the with the first one that we did um, yesterday or the day before yesterday with the mm -hmm. sentences that we have to do that using the the topic that we saw yesterday okay uh, because i wrote the sentences and the system didn't gave me the didn't gave me didn't, didn't give me, me. Ah, did not really give me pay sorry. attention guys on how you yes. express yourself that is why i'm explaining how to uh, express yourself in different tenses okay didn't give me remember okay Claudia. yes okay uh, that was um, what? Uh, which which um, number? Um, I don't remember, knowledge but the check? listening I already did. Yes. The knowledge check one point ten, maybe this one. No, it's no. not. The not that the ones that we had to wrote the sentences. We have to wrote. We have to write, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. No, write. Yes. Write. Right. We have right. to write. Right? right? The W is silent, right. guys. All right. But right. which one? I mean, you don't tell me which one. I was trying to do it in order. So, but you say, well, I mean, you do. You can do it by yourself. That is why we didn't We didn't finish. So, which number is it? Um... The, the next to the listening that is on the cursor. Um, pronunciation reduction, listening exercise, you did it? No, next yes. It. The next one. Thank 
the infinitive clauses? This one. Yes. Okay, let's do it together, guys. Uh, I will give you the answers. What is the number one? If you did it, tell me. Vamos a ver si, si todos tienen la misma información. Help me read, Edgar. Read. And we will find out the answer. For a health clue health? to attract new people. Health? Health. Health. For a health clue to attract club. new people. For a health club, club to attract new people. Uh -huh. For a health the club guys? to attract new people. The answer is it has to offer the last, latest type. The latest type. Types of equipment, all right? Uh, equipment, sorry, equipment. equipment. No equipment, equipment. All right, good job. That's number two. Please help me read, um, Lorena, number two. In order to run a profitable- Profitable. Profitable. In order to run a profitable restaurant? The answer is? You need to hire a talented chef. To hire a talent, a to talented chef. Yeah, very talented. good. Number three, help me, um, Angelica. Number three, to establish a successful new dance club, it needs to have great music and lightning. And lightning. Okay, that is correct. Number four, guys. What is? Can you help me read, Ronald? For a coffee bar to su succeed, uh, it's a good idea to offer desserts to. Very good, all right. And the other one, number five, help me read Alberto. Okay. In order for a magazine to succeed, uh, I think it's. Uh, Oh, it, uh, it has to provide useful information. Thank you. Number six, zero. The runa successful plotting. Wrong. Wrong. The runa successful clothing boutique. One more time. To run a successful clothing boutique. To run a successful clothing boutique. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. answer is. It's a. Uh, Uh, you need to keep keep up with the latest style. Okay, very good. Uh, there you have the answers. You got it right. I believe Claudia was asking. I tenemos yes. the correct and, answers. And with the exercise that is one point ten. Yeah. The first. Uh, yes. The um. Is it the, the same? One. Is it the same? You say, Ronald. 1.12, no, right? It's 1.10. No, 10, 10. One, uh -huh. Now let's check. Okay, very no, good, no. let's. Uh, that, that's the one, yes. That's the one, all right. Number number one, guys, what do you guys have? I listen to my parents. Uh, I will have more pragmatic decision. I will have made more pragmatic decision. <laughs> Very good. I would have made. Okay. Remember, you need to use the past participle. If you don't use the correct past participle, it will be a problem. More pragmatic decisions. Pragmatic decisions. Okay, second one. What do you have, guys? I wouldn't be overweight. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Mm. Only wouldn't, right? Only wouldn't. Oh, sorry. 
If you don't write the correct, would, wouldn't, oh my God. You, you should, mm. should, you should paste. Okay, okay, I wouldn't. And uh, number three, guys. I could have uh, gotten a promotion. I could, I, have, have, I could have gotten a promotion. Ah, okay. Number four. If I had studied harder in school, I could have learned a lot more. I have learned more. could have learned a lot more or just more? A lot more, right? A lot more. Yeah. A lot more. Number five. If I have said the money, uh, if I have said money, I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. Let's check. Vamos a ver, ¿cuál, es, cuál fue el problema you, aquí? You didn't finish it. I wouldn't. You wouldn't be. I wouldn't. You wouldn't be otherwise. Overweight. Overweight. Oh yeah. Over. Wait. Let's check again. Yeah, I understand that in this in this case, if you don't write exactly the same. Yeah. Or if we don't write the correct word, if we misspell it, we will have uh, we will have it incorrect. So there you have check, uh, check the answers, please. Any other questions? Because we are almost uh, over, guys, with the um, with the class for today. Any other question? No. Thanks. You're welcome, Rona. My pleasure. Okay. Um, before we go, I would like you to read a little bit. Okay. Who wants to read? I want to correct you guys. I when I hear, okay, Lorena, you're gonna do the first one. <laughs> uh, only one minute. Okay. If if Lorena wants to read, please let me know if somebody else wants to read because we need to uh we need to practice the reading as well. Ooh, ooh, reading, reading. This is the one. Let's let's start, oh. Lorena. I have only a minute, so you are the only one who's going to read at least the first paragraph. Go. If business, if a business wants to sell its products internationally, it has better do some market research first. Mm -hmm. This is a lesson that some large American corporations have learned the hard way. The hard way, all right, all right. Thank you. Continue with the second one. I don't see any other person uh, wants to want to participate. What's in a name? Sometimes the problem is the name. In general, Motors introduced its Clevy Nova into Latin America. It overlooked the fact that Nova in Spanish means it doesn't go. Sure enough, the Chevy Nova never went anywhere in Latin America. Very good, okay? Uh, those are good tips, guys. If you want to have like a, a, to run a business, you need to think very well on, on the name, right? For example, did you know that in um, China, I believe in China or Japan, they cannot pronounce uh, Ronald, the R, so they say Donald McDonald's, all right? <laughs> they have to adapt the, the, their names depending on the culture. Anyways, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope that you will finish all the tenses, all the exercises, and we'll see you to uh, this coming Monday. Take care, okay? Good evening, guys. Hey, you too. Good evening. Bye-bye. Thank you for your participation, guys. Bye-bye.